Hi friends, happy Saturday. I'm about to go grocery shopping. So today's gonna be a little bit different of a grocery haul. I'm going to be making a stop at Trader Joe's to pick up some produce. I have a lot of produce on the menu for this upcoming week. So I'm gonna stop by there. I really like their produce and their prices are really, really good. So I'm gonna stop by there, grab all my produce, plus a couple other things on my list. Then I'm going to be going to a grocery store here locally called Natural Grocer. So it's similar maybe to like a sprout. So those of you that have sprouts and I'm going to pick up some English muffins. There's some sprouted grain English muffins that I want to try. So I'm going to pick those up. And then my final stop is going to be Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store to pick up the rest of my groceries. So that's what's on the plan for this morning. Lots of stops to make, but I have quite the meal plan set for this next week. My girlfriend is here from San Diego. So we're really going to be careful what we're eating, be on track. We're gonna be doing a lot of exercise. So I have quite a few things to pick up in order for that to happen while she's here. So I will be back after grocery shopping to give you guys all three, I guess three of my grocery hauls. So I'll see you shortly. So the first part of the grocery haul comes from Trader Joe's and then just a local natural store here in my area called Natural Grocers. So we stopped and got these English muffins for some breakfast sandwiches this next week. And I'm gonna put all the points on the screen as usual for you guys. These are the Ezekiel Genesis 129 muffins. So that's all we got at Natural Grocers. And then from Trader Joe's, we have one pound of 96.4 extra lean ground beef. As you know, this is my favorite hamburger. We also grabbed some roasted garlic hummus. This is just to have as a snack this next week. A spaghetti squash, three yellow peppers, of course, the Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella cheese. I would have bought more, but they only had one package left, so I grabbed that. And the Trader Joe's light Mexican blend as well. Big thing of strawberries, celery hearts, a sweet onion, one cucumber for some snacks, apples, a big tomato for some hamburgers for tomorrow night, green onions, blueberries, zucchini, some mixed green lettuce, some romaine hearts, and a couple of peppers, a red and an orange. So that's the Trader Joe's and natural grocers portion of the haul. Up next will be Fred Meyer. So here is the grocery haul from Fred Meyer. So this is the rest of the groceries for the week. So first I grabbed a huge 96 ounce container of the silk almond milk. This is the unsweetened vanilla. I've just been going through a lot of almond milk. So I decided to go ahead and just buy the huge container. That way it lasts more than just one week. I also picked up some Simple Truth Organic non-fat vanilla bean Greek yogurt. This is for an upcoming recipe. A can of Fat Free Ready Whip. This is something I pick up every single week and I was completely out, so I grabbed another can. Two dozen of the Happy Eggs, which are my very favorite eggs. I'm gonna be using a lot of eggs this next week in recipes. I have one pound of steel cut oatmeal and this is for a breakfast recipe. 99% fat free ground turkey for a dinner recipe. Another bag of jasmine rice because I'm completely out, so I picked up another bag. My husband wanted pickles, so Vlasic Zesty Dill Spears. Green beans for my dogs, as usual. I've been seeing this all over YouTube, so this is the French's Honey Mustard. It is zero points. I'll put on the screen how much you can have for zero points, but I heard this is really good on hard boiled eggs and I thought this would be good even in egg salad, on hamburgers, so I grabbed the French's honey mustard. Fat free ranch, this is for an upcoming dinner recipe, actually, and this is for my lunch meal prep. Two cans of pure pumpkin for a bar recipe that I'll be making. A container of vegetable broth and a container of chicken stock for recipes. 
I had a buy one get one free coupon for this Perky Jerky original in Turkey. So I picked up two packages of that. So I thought we could have this on hand for a snack. I grabbed a package of Bob's Red Mill Oat Flour. And this is for a couple of recipes for over this weekend. And then I grabbed some frozen vegetables, some sweet peas, some edamame, some baby broccoli for a recipe, two large bags of frozen broccoli for side dishes, and then we picked up these Ezekiel sprouted grain tortillas, and this is just for a lunch recipe. So that is the rest of the grocery haul for this week. So now let's get into this week's meal plan. As you know, this is my carry -all meal planner. I absolutely love my meal planner. It is so nice, it is comprehensive, it's gorgeous to look at. It has a nice spiral bound, and when you open it up, it is filled with everything that you need to be successful on your meal plan. So you have a resource tab, which is where you can track your favorite websites, meal planning blogs, recipes. There's an inventory tab. This is on my list. So you can do a freezer inventory, a pantry inventory, and really just keep track of what you have on hand. The meal plans tab, which is the one that we'll dive into a little bit deeper, is the one that I use all the time. If you are going to be having any type of a gathering, so any type of an event at your home, there's a gatherings tab where you can track what you're gonna have and plan your grocery list accordingly. So this is a super nice feature as well. And then the notes section of the meal planner, of course, is just where you can take notes on different ideas. And then lastly, there is this nice little pocket in the back that you can put notes and things in as well. So let's go to the meal plans tab as that's the one that we're gonna take a closer look at. You can track your meals by the month. And this is something that I always do because at a glance I can see what's on my meal plan and then I know what to pull out of the freezer the night before or make sure I have all of the ingredients on hand. And if not, then I can plan on stopping at the store after work. So this is just a really nice at the glance tool. And then each week you have an entire weekly menu. So you plan your menu day by day, and then this part here detaches, and that's your grocery list so that you can go and do your shopping. And I use my grocery list every single week. So for example, this week you can see that the grocery list is gone. So just a wonderful meal planner, everything you'd ever need. I do have a discount code for 10% off. So if you go down in the description box, click the link, Enter the code here on the screen, you'll get 10% off, so can't beat that. So let's get into this week. So my weeks go Saturday through Friday. So I have Saturday, June 29th through the following Friday. So for tonight for dinner, we're going to be having chicken fajitas. I did use my weeklies yesterday, Friday. We had a little girls night barbecue, so I'm on track today. So we're gonna be doing chicken fajitas. On Sunday, we're gonna be doing spaghetti squash, turkey with marinara. On Monday, I'm, we're gonna be doing London broil, cauliflower mashed potatoes, and steamed green beans, yum. Tuesday, we're gonna be making sweet and sour chicken over rice with some vegetables. I've been really wanting Chinese food, so sweet and sour chicken it is. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to be making broccoli and cheddar pasta and chicken in my Instant Pot. So you'll be seeing that recipe in an upcoming video. Thursday is skinny garlic chicken, potatoes or rice, I'm not sure yet, and veggies, and again, in my Instant Pot, so coming your way. And Friday, I'm going, oh, you guys, I'm really excited about this, bacon, chicken, and mushroom skillet, and that will be featured in a 30-minute meal. So cannot wait to share that with you guys as well. So here is where you plan out your menu for the week, and then on the back side of where I plan my menu is where I plan my meal prep. So for meal prep this week, I'm gonna be making mini protein waffles with eggs and sausage. You'll be seeing the protein waffle recipe in meal prep. Really excited for this, kind of that country home style breakfast where you have a waffle, eggs, sausage, the whole shebang. And then for lunch this week, I'm gonna be prepping turkey salad, and I'll be having that on a lettuce wrap. You'll be seeing that, as well as the ranch potato salad recipe. So this week I'm not making anything for dessert because I have leftover of the scones from last week and the mini bun cakes. So I'm gonna be showing you a breakfast and two lunch recipes instead. So that's what's on the plan for meal prep. So there you have it, that is my weekly meal plan. This is my carry-on meal planner, and 
there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this week's WW Grocery Haul. Boy, oh boy, was it a haul. Everything is perfect. I got everything I needed for a successful upcoming week. Some new things, some things I haven't tried before. I'm really excited to try those English muffins. Even though they are about a point higher than a traditional English muffin, they're full of all the goodness, so they will keep you full, keep you satisfied, and they're a cleaner, a cleaner English muffin. So I cannot wait to try those. You will be seeing a lot of the recipes that I shared with you in upcoming videos, so definitely stay tuned for that. And if you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend a huge warm welcome. Make sure that you subscribe, hit that little bell. That way you'll be notified every single time that I upload. Give this video a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this week's grocery haul and meal plan. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.